Welcome back. You're still watching Prime Morning. My name is Jay Foley and... My name is MFA Kusiaditi. Well, let's move on to our next uh, segment. Let's talk. We want to get into a conversation with a very beautiful motivator who joins us this morning. So much to talk about when you talk about personal branding and development as well. And she's here with us. Good morning, Emmeline. How are you doing? Good morning, Jay. Good morning, MFA. Good morning. So Happy it's... New Year. Same to you guys, same to you guys. <laughs> Sorry to pull you on such short notice. I but, know. <laughs> but we still have to make it happen. I know, right? It's part of the job. Look, um, I've been, I have been following you keenly, obviously, because we have a relationship. And I see that you uh, you yourself have uh, created a brand for yourself. Uh, and it's, this, this has been done over a couple of months or years. And uh, now you are here with us as a resource person to talk about personal de development and branding. Yeah. Okay. But in, in actual fact, let's even understand, you know, the entirety of what, how important branding is, what it is and how important it is to your personal growth. Okay. So um, thank you very much for this opportunity. And I want to say um, good morning to your cherished viewers. It's a happy new year. And happy <laughs> new year to everybody. Okay. So, um, you know, the thing about branding is, you know, uh, we are used to knowing or we are used to the narrative that companies, entities, products, services are the ones that, you know, have mm, brands. brands. So we talk yeah. about popular brands like Nike, like uh, Max Lott for, uh, sorry, uh, Marriott for hotels, um, Louis Vuitton for shoes, yeah. you know. And yeah. you ask yourself, why are those things important? Um, you ask yourself, why do you, when you go to shop, why do you pick one and you don't pick the other? Mm -hmm. Something is communicating to you, right? There's something that that thing does to you. It mm -hmm. adds something to you. What MFA wants is different from what I want. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when a brand, somebody who is into a product or service is creating something, he has to understand what we both want mm -hmm. because it's a reflection of who we are. Mm -hmm. So now we now say, okay, going beyond um, entities and products and services, human beings are also fast becoming brands. Mm -hmm. Unlike before where we just focused on companies that say, okay, let's focus on the company's brand. What do we do? Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to... Um, um, should we say personal growth and development? We say for you to succeed in your career, mm -hmm. your personal brand needs to be strong enough to maintain if it's a business mm -hmm. or whatever you do. Now, people have an impression of you. And the, the question is, what kind of impression do you want people to have of have you? you yeah. Because opportunities will come, but it's not for everybody. Yeah. Now, so people are making decisions on the table. How do I know I have to call a J. Foley when we have, a, we have numerous people doing what you do? But why J. Foley? Why do I have to call MFI when there are numerous lovely girls around there? What makes you stand out? So we say, okay, so your personal brand is what you communicate about yourself. So there are many uh, TV presenters, there are many radio broadcasters, but what makes you stand out? Mm -hmm. So that is the reason why personal branding is very important because it helps you achieve your personal goals as far as career mm -hmm. development and business is concerned. Wow, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what, what feeds... For a, what feeds a person to position, you know, as, or put out a certain brand, like in terms of values? How, how, how well, or what, what, how does value, or what, how do values, yes, I beg your mm -hmm. pardon, how do values play an important role in developing a certain brand? Okay, that's a very fantastic question because a personal brand is actually a consistent promise of value. Okay. So, if you, you are, you're providing a solution to someone, whether it be you or your company, at the end of the day, it's not about the name of your company or your name. It's about what J. Folio MFI provides mm -hmm. when we experience you. So that is why customer experience is very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this, in, this, in this case where it's television, it's a TV experience, which is yeah. something you are selling, right? So why would I want to tune into a Joy Prime? It's the value you provide. As far as media is concerned, it's content, compelling content. Mm -hmm. If your content is compel compelling, mm -hmm. it meets the needs of your audience, then you're producing value. Mm -hmm. So value is very key. You cannot separate value from personal branding because mm -hmm. it has to be available and it has to be consistent. A personal brand doesn't come up in a day and say, hey, today I'm a presenter. No. Jay Foley has been in this game for years, and so your name is resounding. He's mm -hmm. even 80 years now. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, right? He's young, but if he feels like he's been, he's been in this world for so long. Yeah. Yeah. That's how powerful consistency is as far as personal branding is concerned. A consistent promise of value. So if I go to a T.M. Lewin shop, and I buy a dress, right. the next time I go back, it mustn't be less than the value I bought it. Mm -hmm. It must give me the same value. And for those kind of brands, it's prestige. Is that not the case? Mm -hmm. So if I am a TV presenter, I want to always look good. I will keep going to a TM Lewin because the value I want, TM Lewin gives Provides it to me. It, right. So you cannot separate value from personal branding. 
Well, so in, in uh, personal branding, are there some elements that will come up together? What are the ingredients that will come up together yeah. for you to be able to brand yourself personally? Awesome. So uh, personal branding um, actually works a lot with your competences, your skills, mm -hmm. your unique abilities, what you can do, how you say what you say, how you do what you do, how people experience you. So it basically has to do with your skills, your strengths, your abilities, your passion. More importantly, your purpose. You cannot separate your purpose in life and your passion from your personal brand because that is what your personal brand communicates anyways. So many people say, I have a personal brand and they feel by being on social media, I have a personal brand. No. Before you create a social media page, you must have done the work of building or developing an impression, a lasting impression mm -hmm. that will communicate to people who you are. Now, what is happening these days is that people, are, they think they have a brand, but we are confused. So you're on social media, yes, you want to portray <laughs> that you are a professional, let's say, a professional lawyer. But we come to your page, and all the time we see you just dressed in nice clothes. Nothing, you don't quote anything about law, <laughs> you don't share anything about legal stuff. How in God's name, and then they call you, as, uh, maybe for some unintelligent reason, somebody calls you a slay queen, and you're upset. Well. For some, and I quote you, for some unintelligent <laughs> reasons, <laughs> because people seem to assume yeah. because Emmeline is always in fancy clothes on Instagram, mm -hmm. it means that she's a sleek queen. No, but I don't blame my audience or the people who are, I blame myself. I am not being intentional with what I want to communicate with people. So I want to be, if I go to your pages right now, I did that before coming here, consistently I could see that this is what you do. And even if you are not on television, if I see you at the mall or anywhere, I still know that these people are TV professionals. Mm -hmm. So if you want people to adequately refer you to who you are, do not be offended when they say things that you do not expect them to say. Mm -hmm. First thing you ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? So creating your brand around your purpose is key. Then your passion. Obviously, your passion lets you know or confirms mm -hmm. your purpose. Okay. You cannot say this is your purpose if you don't love it. Mm -hmm. You guys do this. If you wake you up, you guys will get up and this is what you do, right? Mm -hmm. And then another thing, maybe I don't know about you because you haven't shown that to me or anybody else yet. So you, it is very key for those two, those two things. And God has given you your skills, your competences, your unique set of abilities to uh, complement your purpose. Mm -hmm. Because without those things, you can't achieve a purpose. Okay? So all these things that I put together, even your experiences, if you notice, you go through stuff, um, either... Uh, personal development experiences, life experiences, mm -hmm. you know, your backgrounds and all of that, all these things come together to shape you. Mm -hmm. right. So it is your duty. To, it's just like a brick, uh, uh, a builder. Brick, stones, water, and everything. You have to make, you have, you are the, you have, you are, you have a, an image in your mind. You are the architect of your life. So you know, okay, with all these things happening around me, the good, the bad, and the ugly, I'm using all of this to create Emma. So that when you see Emma, yeah. you say, Emma is this. Now you call me a motivator because mm -hmm. if you go to my page, page that is basically yeah, what yeah. I so do. Yeah. As, even though I'm an HR manager or I am a coach or a mentor, everything surrounds motivation because my passion is to drive people into achieving their goals. Okay. Now, what's okay. the first step to personal branding? Where you, does it start and where does it end? Awesome. So I think I've already given you, I started from the beginning. So there are the four P's I learned from a personal branding expert. So the first thing is, like I said, is your purpose, right? Okay. Now, one thing about, I did this about purpose is that purpose makes you identify your audience. Mm -hmm. You are not called to everybody. And that's the mistake some of us make. We are in a hurry to please everyone. everyone. So when you face rejection, maybe you find yourself at, on a job and then after a f uh, people don't really appreciate you, you're not growing there and you take it personal, no. That may not be audience. And sometimes God uses, uses those opportunities to direct you to where you ought to be. When you identify your purpose, of course, your purpose and your passion, like I said, goes together. And then you, that those two things create your value. Okay. Okay. And purpose, passion, value, then personal brand. Now that is on the side where nobody knows you. Then there's preparation. You don't just become a one night wonder. No. Mm -hmm. Averagely, it takes about 10 years for you to be authentic. And that's the, th the thing about personal branding. The, when you are consistently offering value, you become unique. Authenticity is the foundation of your personal brand. Mm. And that is what preparation does for you. So people see J4, they say, MFA, I want to be like them. And they don't know what you've been through. Mm -hmm. You know, what you they don't they don't see it. They only see the glam, Cardi the fame, B. the Cardi B. I mean, I'm here in the studio. I'm here in the studio. Yeah. What we see on television is different from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing out here. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? So preparation is what makes you unique. I mean, baby steps. 
do not be in a hurry. And everybody's preparation stages are different. definitely going to be yeah. different. I've been speaking from when I finished secondary school because mm -hmm. I found myself in a youth organization. So I've been speaking to the youth for so long. Mm -hmm. So when I tell people I'm more than 10 years, they think I'm so old. Nah, yeah. <laughs> I was still a teenager yeah, started. when I started what I was doing. So preparation is very key. And then we go into positioning. Okay. Like I said, how you want people to perceive you. You position yourself in a way that people are clear about who you are. Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to consistency, after you find identifying your purpose and you preparing yourself, now position yourself properly in the mind. There's something about in branding they call top of mind awareness. Mm -hmm. So when I think about you, what comes to my mind first? That is very, very key. And then you go into publicity. If you are a superstar and you are hidden in your room, nobody will know who you are. Mm -hmm. That is where you need to have a proper marketing plan for your brand, mm -hmm. how people will see you, where people will see you, how you want them to see you, the look and feel, the colors. That's where image consultants become very important because your skin, your dress, your shoes, what you oh, wear. Clear. So yeah. for yeah, for those of you that want to go with your career, for example, you can't wear just anything. You mm -hmm. can't smell like any, you can't smell anyhow. <laughs> you know, you can't be everywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to pick your event. So even in the Western world, the celebrities have publicists. In Africa here, we really don't care about those things. But publicists or coaches help these people mm -hmm. to identify where they need to be so that they can meet the people yeah. that would, you know, add value to them and also help them to get to where they want to go to. Mm -hmm. So if you find a lawyer sitting with, always uh, hanging out in a bar, when I say bar, not the plush bar, like mm -hmm. the very local bar, sitting yeah. with people who have nowhere to go, how would you say you're a professional? Obviously, I would say you are the same. So your association is really powerful. Oh, yeah. So you want to build a brand. For example, I want to be like MFA, and I've just started. I need to always be around MFA. Let people make a mistake, and it has to be a good one. That em so when they say Emily, always hanging around you guys. Hey, Emily, too, is a broadcast. Me, I'm nothing. I'm always hanging around you. <laughs> so your networking is very important. So these yeah. four Ps, That's once you get it right. So purpose and passion, preparation, positioning, and publicity. Wow. Very key. Wow. I, well, I, time because of time, yeah. you've mentioned social media, which yes. is now a part of our lives. Mm. Go heaven, come down to hell. <laughs> social media is playing a key role in, yes. in, every, in our daily lives now. You've mm -hmm. mentioned it now. I want to understand its importance to our, our, our personal branding, just so people probably would have an idea of even, okay, so from today, henceforth, I'm not going to do this, so I have to do this. How is social media playing a role in our personal branding? So okay. we put it under publicity? Yes, so, but I okay. think EJ wants yeah. me to expand it the more. Yeah. So in those days, we, you had to just use a call card to just let people know who you are. Yeah, very we, nicely designed. And with that, you control who <laughs> sees you. Yeah. Because you can't be everywhere at the same time. Yeah. Social media has its advantages because your reach is wider. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be in the U.S. for somebody to know Emmeline. So if I sit here and I say one of my goals is to be the go-to coaches or motivators or personal development professionals. So when people come to Ghana and they're looking for public speakers, when people say, can you refer the top 10 people who speak in Ghana? My name has been mentioned. Mm -hmm. You know, I agree. My name has been mentioned, and I'm doing that consciously. If you go to my social media, it is intentional. That's one thing about personal branding. It is an intentional process. So social media helps you to just reach out widely. Now, the caveat is that if you get it wrong, you're in trouble. <laughs> okay? Yeah. You are in serious trouble. If it goes out there and you don't manage it properly, then you're going to have people asking, okay, is Jay really who he says he is? Mm -hmm. The moment you... Jay, it's so sad. The moment you have decided that you want to be someone who makes a difference, that is what I call celebrities. You want to you make a difference. Is that true what you do here or outside this place? You make a mistake. The world will not forgive you. Yeah. And so Been there. bearing that in mind, <laughs> bearing that in mind, you need to first of all understand that you're a human being, you will make mistakes, but have a plan. Mm -hmm. Have a personal public relations plan. When something goes wrong, how do you manage it? Because life will happen to you. People will come and say things about you. Mm -hmm. But how do you manage it? You know, so, but who you really are will be shown in those times. And so your personal brand will go through so much. Social media helps you to test you properly. So mm -hmm. I think that people shouldn't take their social media pages or handles for granted. I mean, HR, and these days, you are moving beyond your CVs. Mm -hmm. Even when, I, uh, when you go apply to the U.S. Embassy to travel, now yes. they yeah. ask for all your handles. Mm -hmm. yeah. To check what Multinationals will do the same thing. So if you're not consistent and you say, it's my life, I really don't care, I'm sorry, people don't know you, but they trust what they see on social media. That is how powerful it is. Well, uh, 
there's also now an adaptation of the Western culture mm -hmm. and their lifestyles yeah. right back here in Africa, streaming down to Ghana. And uh, I want to put women into this perspective um, that, well, you see a lot of women, you know, feeling free to show part of their body. Mm -hmm. Feel free and, mm -hmm. and, and... Showing skin. You know, they show skin. MFI is smiling. No, she's not in that space. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she's, she's not, not in that space. Tone, and that's good. Yes. So, um... Now, I, I'm, I just want to ask about the, uh, it's, it's arguable. Very arguable. You know, that somebody will say, hey, this is my life. Also, on another, another hand, there is culture and what we value as, uh, well, the morals of our... Of what our, is acceptable, what is not acceptable, our, right? You know, I'm just trying to understand the how the balance and how, <laughs> um, how a young, beautiful Ghanaian girl mm -hmm. can play well in both spaces. So the first Summertime, question, I can show skin, uh -huh. but not be looked at as uh, I am I'm, I'm a bad girl. Mm -hmm. So you see, you, you said it correctly. Cultural plays. I mean, if I was in the U.S. and it was very, the, you know, whether you, you, you've been traveling, the weather is really extreme out there. Mm -hmm. Hamatan is nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yes. know, yeah. the heat here is nothing. They are very extreme. So for them, that's, you see, it's, it's a lifestyle thing. Even those who are supposed to be Christians, you, when you travel abroad, they wear very skimpy things. Mm -hmm. And that they're not wearing it because they want to show skin. It is hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know, the weather is hot and everybody is doing it, right? Now, if you come to this part of the world, it doesn't make any sense. When the weather is not so cold and when you're a sweater, even that one, people will have a problem with you because mm -hmm. it's not so cold. Mm -hmm. So the, it's about appropriateness, all right? What is appropriate for a particular weather, country, mm -hmm. event, profession? The word profession, you say you're a professional. How you look communicates your profession. Mm -hmm. So even though the Western world is not as, in, for lack of a better word, highly moral like we are, when it comes to profession, every if a doctor wears the same thing, a doctor wears here, yeah. wears the same thing there. But when it comes to your social life, I mean, the point is that how does society, where you live or come from, react to those mm. things? So you need to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. It's as simple as that. Do not misconstrue and say it's my life. You copy blindly and you think that people are set for you. I know you have a very big problem. Mm -hmm. Even with certain issues that has to do with laws and all of that, our laws are not the same. Mm -hmm. The jurisdiction in Ghana, if you take it to the U.S., you may not work. Polygamy is very much accepted here. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., they frown upon it. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be very careful and be very deliberate to what we do and be conscious. One of the things about personal branding, building your personal brand, is that you need to be very conscious of what you're doing. When you are communicating to people, be intentional about it. Mm -hmm. I, this is the end result. So every little thing you do, personal branding helps you make decisions. Mm -hmm. So every little thing you do, you need to be sure that you are doing it's consistent. There is no diversion. Mm -hmm. If not, there will be no clarity. And then the confusion lies, I mean, comes to play. Yeah. So Okay, so um, uh, Amelie, can you help me merge those two? Mm -hmm. Personal branding mm -hmm. and self-development. How can I, how can the two come together? To help me as a person. In fact, self-development is a tool. Okay. To help you build a personal brand. Oh. You mm. cannot, you cannot say you will not grow, mm -hmm. and think your personal brand will grow. In fact, everything starts with growth. These days, I call myself a growth coach because I have noticed that when you keep pursuing a goal. You keep trying to pursue a goal. And it gets to a point where you don't want to pursue anymore. You yeah. are so not motivated to do it. But when you grow. You mature. You're working on your skills yourself. You will be motivated to achieve your goal. So, okay. we are going beyond goal setting to growth setting. Okay. So now I tell people: focus on yourself, develop yourself. You will be moved to achieve your goals. Easy. Very easy. Easy breezy. Well, we've been talking to <laughs> Emmeline. Uh, she's a motivator as well. We are talking about personal branding and development. You said a lot so far. And uh, so if you just joined us, well, you've missed quite a chunk of the information, but we still have some more to go. So um, now let's talk about, you, you mentioned something that caught my attention, which is, uh, uh, you know, you have to be careful you don't make an error, but we are yeah. still prone to making errors. Yes, yes. How do I grow out of a mistake that I have made on uh, on my personal branding, you know, um, probably I've I've been uh, positioned as a very uh, you know top class lawyer, yes. and then something stains my my image and my brand heavily, 
and now there's depression, frustration, mm. stress, all mm. those things mm. set in. How mm. do I build myself out of out Shall of this? Shall we give a classical example? Classical, professor, yes, uh, a classic one. Uh, professor Jampo, the yes, the, so mm. like, yes, mm -hmm. you are very. Um, <laughs> 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 you want to, you want to tread on. You want to tread on, on dangerous, on dangerous waters. waters. <laughs> yeah, so an ex Something example, like that. Yeah, I think it's beautiful to use an example like this. So here's a professor who's been teaching the students for a very long time. And, and mind you, he he's he's quite outspoken. Yes. He talks about policies in this country. Yes. His opinion is listened to and yes. all of that. So if I was him, what oh, should I be indeed. doing now, considering the job he does as, as a lecturer? <laughs> For him, you got me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, when you get to that stage where your personal brand is well known, you've become a, a public figure. Let mm -hmm. me use that word everybody knows. Because if nobody knows me, I can as well just hide in my one corner, deal mm -hmm. with myself and get back. Globally, when you listen to the uh, dramas that happen around public figures, celebrities mm -hmm. and all of that, uh, I will give a classical example. Um, Lama Odum, Chloe Kardashian. Kardashian, oh, yes, yeah. yes. For a while, he was offline. Like, you wouldn't hear anything about But we all knew what happened to him. It was mm -hmm. drugs. Yes. And, I mean, he went through everything mm -hmm. possible that could actually bring a great man down. Mm -hmm. This was a seasoned basketballer. Go back to his page right now. The man is on track. He is showing you his progress. He's showing you what he's doing. And he's not afraid to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Now, you see, when we talk about personal branding, you are building a career. You're a human being. Not like comp even with companies. If a company has a problem, then your PR team has to, you know, be sure to work on it and get back in line, right? But as an individual, you need to understand that you've made a mistake. But the world needs to, the world needs, knows that you're a human being. You know, hold on to that. Let me open the phone lines and sure. then we can continue yes. sure. on yeah. that. Sure, sure. Okay, so you can call us on 0246 807983. Call us. Let's talk about your personal branding and your self development. Amelie's here. When they come <laughs> here, let's take all we can away from them, okay? Great. So, back to how he's going to come out. Yes. Of this. So, what he, he's, he's sharing a story. Now, part of personal branding or being in a career is storytelling. Now, if you're, you have fans, people know you guys when you guys started. Ghana mm. was beautiful 2012. Right from um, 2007, uh, 2007 <laughs> until date. Don't, don't look at me like that. Like, <laughs> where's your gray hair? <laughs> <laughs> people have been following you. But what you don't want to also make an impression is that don't make people think you're a superman or superwoman. Mm -hmm. okay. You're a human being. Vulnerability is strength. Yeah. And that's what people yeah. need to understand. So I go through Lamar Odum's page, and I'm seeing that he is getting his life on track. He's found a woman who is his strength. She's actually a life coach. Okay. okay. Yes, and he's found Jesus too. I was even surprised to see wow. that. So these days, the Western celebrities are fighting Jesus. Yeah. If it's Kanye for real, West. good to God, you know. Yeah. And he's talking about what happened and how he's. Do you know how people will react, would uh, relate more with you yes. than when you are all, you know, gotten together? Mm -hmm. And that is part of your life. So you see, when I say purpose, you are called to do something. Even your life, you're called to make a difference. Your failures, your mistakes are actually tools to make you succeed. Why don't you rather use that to show people how to fall and get back up? Falling down is not the issue. It is staying there as the problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when it comes to your personal brand and you make a mistake, it is when you consistently make that mistake, we say it is not a decision. You have decided to do that. But the moment you make a conscious effort to right your wrongs and continue moving like nothing happened, you even become stronger. And your people even love you the more. So why do you want a mistake or an error to deter you from continuing to build a brand that you want to build? So how, okay. how in this case will someone like, uh, you know, is it Butako or, uh, or Professor Jampo? Professor mm -hmm. Jampo. How, 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 if you were their peer or publicist, how would you rework their image in a practical way? I know it's a very tough one, but in your opinion, um, how would you, what would you suggest they do uh, just to be able to face life again? I always say that when you are a leader, whether a leader for yourself or a leader for an organization, there is nothing wrong with saying, I messed up and I'm sorry. I mean, good PR is not trying to butter or sugarcoat the truth. Yeah. People really know when you're lying. Yeah. You know, <laughs> people really know. And people are not stupid. People are very discerning these days. So there is nothing wrong with you coming and saying, you know what, I messed up. But... I am doing everything possible to right my wrong. Guess what? Your, int your interest should not be in getting everybody to love you or accept you at that moment. That is, you can't do it. 
Yeah. As long as you are good with yourself, you are good with God, you are fine. You're fine. Every other thing will fall into its place. So for him, I really don't have all the facts of it. If it yeah. is true, like I said, come on and publicly say it. And that's an opportunity for you to be for you it to starts. even reach out yeah. to people who may fall into that same situation. Yeah. And you find out that you have a purpose in that. So for every mistake you make, like David and Joseph in the Bible, today they are, they are celebrities because they also messed up in jail. We, come up we have Sapon on the line okay. real quickly from Fadama. Sapon, good morning. Good morning, Jay. How are you doing? I'm okay. Contribution or question? I have a question, though. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I have this thing in me that uh, anytime I want to start something, the zeal to start that particular thing is so much. Uh, I have anything to start that particular thing. It will move on well, but not to see the group of it. I still want to do something else. Without being this one grow successfully, I don't know what I am going to do for him. I want some advice and all that stuff. Okay, all right. You can start off by positioning yourself well, so when you're talking, we can hear you clearly. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a good start. But thank you very much. Great one there. So you know, he's talking about the, the the zeal is there, but you know, when you kick off, then now. You know, this problem, he's not the only one going through it. I mean, a lot of <laughs> international. Oh, family. my God. It's a global issue. Everybody at a point in time in discovering him or herself or in becoming mm -hmm. will go through this. So I always tell people, say, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Try your hands on everything. Mm -hmm. Listen, a fish swims effortlessly in water. Whether it feels like it or not, it just swims. So I, I, wanna, I don't have all the details surrounding his mm -hmm. issues. I would have a lot more information. Mm -hmm. But... All I can tell him is that when he's passionate about something, except he's really not seeing the big picture, and that's the problem we have. When you don't have a goal in sight, right, mm -hmm. things along mm -hmm. the way will deter you. Deter you yeah. Now, passion is that thing that drives you when you're supposed to be demotivated. Mm -hmm. Now, some, at the same time, too, life happens to you. Probably he has an idea of where he wants to be, and he can't. Charlie, yeah, you just chosen the towel. We all quit at a point in life. Yeah. But he needs to understand that the difference between him and somebody that has achieved his goal is not that that person doesn't also feel like that. But the discipline or the desire to yeah. achieve the goal is higher yeah. than the indiscipline or the uh, lack of motivation he has. These days, we tell people, choose before you feel. You choose to do it. You decide. Because the world is not ruled by how you feel, mm -hmm. but by the decisions you make. When you make those decisions and you see the results, then the motivation will come through. Come so, through. I mean, we've all been through this stage. I don't feel like it. I need to be inspired before I do it. Yeah. I need to be motivated. No, 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 no. As Nike says, just do it. Just do it. And you get there. One question yes. that uh, I really want you to handle real quickly for me is, how do you switch peacefully from one brand to the other, like Kanye. Yeah. To Switching from yeah, switch, that, yeah. and, and which is allowed because change is the is only okay. constant yeah. thing. So yeah. how do you do it and not uh not Lucid, okay? Eh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, well, everybody before, just before that, yeah. Mukta is on the line again from Tamale. Mukta, our loyal uh, caller. Caller, caller. Caller, how are you doing again? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Yes. I I I do like. I can realize like, maybe good points, all right? But sometimes I give up. I don't know. You know, I don't know who. Maybe there's no one to encourage me to, to perform. You know, I have like eight points, yeah. But I just wanted to talk. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thank you. Thank she you will so talk much. to you. You, you <laughs> just took the words out of I my know, mouth. right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you were talking about switching brands too. Yeah. Now, Kanye West was not a brand switch. He's a musician. Okay. So that is the brand he was building. Mm -hmm. I think it's basically his life. Yeah. Um, life choice, life decisions. Mm -hmm. I used to rule out with the bad boys. Now I want to be a responsible person. Yeah. I mean, and the question I will ask is what made him change? Was he not achieving his goal? Mm -hmm. When you are building your personal brand and you find yourself in a point where you're not fulfilled anymore or something is empty, mm -hmm. you know, because you are growing every time, you know, you're not growing just in your physical body. Emotionally, you're growing. Spiritually, you're growing. If it gets to a point where you are static, you will look for a solution. Is that not the case? Yeah. So he was pursuing his dream. I hear people say, I'm singing, I'm everything, I'm a star. But they commit suicide. 
it's it's yeah. very yeah why do you think that happens yeah. they yeah. live in the glam the glitz everything but then they still want to kill themselves or they just are not as happy as social media or television shows it to yeah. be there's something on the inside that needs so basically Kai is, Kai's issue was, I think he was trying to find himself. Yeah. It wasn't about his personal brand, but that would actually also help or affect his personal brand. And it's up to him to make it possible. We've got two minutes yeah. to wrap up. I want yeah. to ask a quick question and just give me a 30 seconds to answer it. So when you are down, mm -hmm. it's the hardest moment to believe in, in any of the motivational quotes <laughs> and, you know, it, yeah. yeah, when you are down, it is said that, you know, be determined, you will get there, tolerance, you know, tolerance, build up, but that. it becomes <laughs> so difficult to believe in them. Do these, do these motivational quotes, are they true? I see motivation, are they motivational practical? words are like seeds, mm -hmm. or let's say positive words are like seeds. Yeah. You sow today, you don't see the, you don't see anything. It doesn't mean you should stop watering it. So when you see people like that, you don't stop saying it. But sometimes you need to be hard on certain people. Yeah. Tough well. love is the key. That's right. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we've been talking about uh, personal branding and self-development. How about you take a look at these helpful tips from us? Yes, well, Emily, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I think you're an official resource person for oh. us. And there's a <laughs> lot that we can drive and, you know, sure. squeeze out of you to help, you know, uh, empower us. All these tools that you've mentioned that mm -hmm. things we can always adapt and then, you know, use to grow up as well. Sure. Remember that I'm sleeping on your page. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> what the page I on IG is yes at imativator underscore gh. That's yeah. e m a t i v a t o r underscore gh. Yes. I tag it on my page. Thank yes. you so much for joining us today. I want to say thank you to PLS by Fest for my beautiful mm -hmm. corporate look today. I look beautiful. Thank you to Cut and Raw Beauty Parlor for my makeup. See you tomorrow. Well, and thanks to our design lounge as well for holding us down. Well, Preman, thank you. We are out. <laughs>